I think particularly at this, this age, um, children are kind of curious. Uh, learning is mostly about fun. They, they're, not, they're not inhibited too much. So when they come across new words, um, they, they see it as quite a challenge just to take it on. They don't see it as a block. The children are getting used to working in roles, so they're getting used to being somebody who they're not. Also, we don't use pictures a lot of the time when we're telling this story. So we're encouraging them to create uh, a lot of pictures in their head. So they're, we're teaching them to build on each other's ideas, to accept each other's ideas and build on them. A lot of the drama is in their imaginations. And because of that, we use as little as possible for, to stimulate that. So the concentration is all on the language and the words to conjure up the images that we want. The teachers here and the teachers that we work with in the other schools all went to a big um, course at the start of the project and we worked with an actor, Tom, from the Globe Theatre and he sort of introduced us to like a wide variety of different drama activities that we can do to really get the children um, to understand the story better. So we do an activity called a story whoosh where the old children all come out and act a little bit of the story at a time and it's very informal and there's no sort of, there's no lines or anything like that, it's just I'm reading the story, come up and have a go at acting out the different characters, um, join in, doesn't matter if you make a mistake, you go and sit back down and a couple of minutes and we try and do that every week just to try and get them really um, to understand that story there. The children I found have been much more interactive with, with me leading. They have these sort of expectations with the visitor that you're sitting nicely and really quietly whereas with me they're sort of more willing to sort of put the hand up or call out an answer or just join in a, a little bit more. We really have had to kind of decide that we are throwing ourselves into this 100% and just kind of go with it. So um, there's none of that kind of being, oh, I'm embarrassed about this or I'm worried about that. You kind of just have to kind of jump in kind of feet first and just kind of roll with it. The children are just so, so engaged with the, both the stories. Um, the way that they can talk about the characters in the stories and the really complex um, themes. So in The Winter's Tale, for example, there's kind of, we touch a little bit on maybe like infidelity between um, um, Hermione and King Polixenes and obviously we don't go that kind of down that line with it but they know that potentially a character's fallen in love with somebody else and that's you know a bit of a kind of a touchy subject and things like that so the themes the complex themes that they're getting to grips with are just fantastic. Having a convention like the rope just sets the, the tone it makes it a little bit special um, that they are instantly involved with what they're doing so then they're, they're not you know, sitting on the chairs at a table, um, sort of being talked at, that, that, that it's quite a close-knit uh, audience, they're part of it and they're invested in it. There's been a real focus on delivering this literacy through drama, through um, discussion, group discussion, lots of uh, oracy. I think some of the children, uh, you know, still um, developing their writing and, and to be able to access the sort of the meatier concepts, um, we, we've done a lot of, of talking. Um, there is been some really motivated pieces of writing as well, they've done dire entries, they've done lots of work around that, but the vehicle through which we've delivered this practice has definitely been through drama. It feels like the characters in this story are friends to us. Um, I think we sometimes feel that, like that when we're reading a really good book and you can't put it down and these children are talking about these characters as if they know them like another friend. Um, and when, when are they coming to visit again and who will we be meeting next time. They never ever talk like that about other characters and other stories. That It's very two-dimensional um, in the rest of the curriculum and this has definitely become a three-dimensional piece of learning for them. It's really taught me as a teacher to step back from the pressures that um, the academic world puts on things and see children and how their play with words and with the ideas can bring a story to life for them in a much deeper way. So we have some very strong uh, children in class that are very articulate which has is, is helped those immensely because they're able to talk about it and relate to the characters in the story and it's been amazing. When I first heard about it I was like really? <laughs> Not Shakespeare with year one? I can remember my own experience of Shakespeare was very negative so I was like how are we going to do it with year one and the, we've just seen the children blossom into it. The story they can tell is amazing. They can still tell the story of Tempest far better than I can. The more animated you are, the more willing the children are to believe that you are that character. It's just invaluable and just um, my top tip would be just, just go with it, just go for it. I can't imagine us doing literacy in any other way to be honest, so it's been brilliant.